The Price Tower Art Center's newest attraction is the film costumes of Edith Head. The designer with the distinctive bangs and glasses used someone else's sketches to land her first Hollywood job. This one was done for Grace Kiff. The exhibit was put together by Scott Perkins. We wanted to look at an exhibition that dealt with multiple levels of design and design history. So we brought Edith Head in because we could look at the artwork, which would be the art uh, sort of angle, and then also the cultural angle, looking at her place in film history, in costume design history, and then the sort of legacy of her career after nearly 30 years since she's died. Head designed for the most glamorous film stars from the heyday of Hollywood. Everyone from Bing Crosby, On this independence day. to Betty Davis, Don't get up. and please stop acting as if I was a queen mother, to Audrey Hepburn. This is for Breakfast at Tiffany's. Head first created costumes at Paramount Studios where she sketched for an unprecedented 44 years. She then moved on to Universal Studios and was there until her death in 1981. During her six decades in Hollywood, Head racked up the most Academy Award nominations of any woman in the film industry, a grand total of 35. And she holds another record. She's the most winningest woman in Oscar history. She has eight Academy Awards uh, for her costume designs. Six of Head's Oscars are on display as part of the exhibit. If you look closely, you can see where she's handled them so often, she rubbed the shine right off a few. Head won her first Academy Award for The Heiress. She also won for notable films such as All About Eve and she won for Roman Holiday. In all, Head's costumes were featured in more than 1,100 films, but her designs also worked for everyday women. The woman didn't have to be beautiful, oh, the dress was beautiful. She brought in her own kind of ideas on taste. Uh, she didn't necessarily follow trends because chances are the film would be produced after that trend was over, so she didn't want to look outdated. Um, so she really developed a classic style. One thing you won't see here is an original Edith Head dress in the flesh, so to speak. That's because back in the day, the studio didn't keep them after the production wrapped. The seams were ripped out and the material was reused. So the Price Tower Art Center asked some OSU design students to take a sketch of Edith Head's, gave them $50 worth of material, and they recreated the designs. They took 10 sketches and realized those gowns in all black, so you can really look at the construction elements of those um, garments. In all, there are 166 items in the Edith Head collection. Most are sketches she did herself, but a few are designs she worked on with her assistants. If the sketch is an original head, it bears her big, bold, unmistakable signature. But you didn't have to be a glamorous movie star to benefit from Edith Head's sense of style. Pan Am had her design uniforms for their stewardesses, and Head even created designs for the home seamstress. We have examples of her dress patterns for Vogue, uh, her books that she wrote, and then also some private collection um, pieces that she did for clients to wear to award ceremonies or dinners or, or kind of Hollywood events. This exhibit lets you be a designer yourself. It's actually Edith Head's workstation. You get a chance to come in, draw in the sketchbook, leave your little mark. You can even pick the fabric swatches that you like. And if you're really good at what you do, you'll find a very special sticker on your page. To give movie buffs a chance to see Head's fashions on the big screen, the Price Tower Art Center teamed up with the Circle Cinema in Tulsa. We have Torn Curtain coming up, uh, The Trouble with Harry. We're showing one a month for the next three months. So the last one in May is not a Hitchcock film. It is actually Sunset Boulevard. The Edith Head exhibit runs at the Price Tower Art Center in Bartlesville through May 16th.